Ever wondered what keeps your fries crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside? And what goes into your burger? Now McDonald's has launched its Open Doors initiative, which allows the public a tour of its kitchen. You can ask all your burning questions. This is uh, something that's been happening all around McDonald's around the world. We found that it worked very well. So we're considering this last year. We made a decision to really go all out this year. It's the first time we're, promo- we're opening this invitation to all Singaporeans across our island. This is an ongoing campaign that we have, an uh, ongoing effort we have to really be transparent about food and give Singaporeans a chance to learn the truth about food. Here's a sneak peek at McDonald's King Albert Park outlet, which houses one of its biggest kitchens. For example, frozen food is stored at a strict temperature range of minus 18 to minus 23 degrees Celsius. Vegetable oil is used for deep frying. Blue gloves are used to handle raw ingredients, while white gloves are used for cooked foods to prevent cross-contamination. As for worries about the H1N1 virus, McDonald's has taken precautions to reinforce its staff's food safety practices, like hourly hand washing, for example. As a highly globalized brand and with restaurants all over the world, McDonald's challenge is then to keep up to speed with research and technology, as well as consumers' growing expectations of food quality. We always strive for continuous improvement. The system that we have today, we need to evolve and uh, to meet the uh, emerging issue that we have around the world. And we constantly work with a uh, with a group of um, leading experts around the system to make sure that our um, we have the most uh, leading industry standards to ensure food safety and quality. Given the bad press in recent years questioning the nutrition of McDonald's food, there have been calls for transparency in its practices. For instance, a 2004 documentary Super Size Me links the fast food chain to obesity in the United States. McDonald's Singapore says it continues to work with worldwide experts to keep food quality up. 20 outlets island-wide will open their kitchens to the public every Sunday from the 5th to 26th of July. Locals have already been signing up for the kitchen tours from McDonald's website. In fact, 90% of the 2,500 places for tours of its kitchens have already been snapped up.